Hey guys, it's Devon and today we have another Beatemon review. This time it is the 025 Iron Odin from the Crash Beatemon line. So let's take a look at the box. So here is Iron Odin and its user. On the side, some customization features um, featuring the barrel that it um, uses, um, the product, another product, and also some logos. And there we go. So let's proceed to open the box. So here are the sprues. They don't come in a plastic bag. And there are the instructions, bidama, and sticker sheet, and the springs. So if you do want to scan copy of the stickers, please do let me know in the comment section below. So here are the sprues. Pretty trigger. The core. And also the rollers. Sprues for the body, arms and legs. Sprues for the um, foregrip barrel or the Odin barrel. Sprues for the trigger, for the trigger housing. And some armor parts and also trigger parts for the Iron Odin. Here are all the parts cut out, so let's proceed to the build. So first, let's take the core and we'll take the two rollers. So inside the Beatamon, there is actually another um, bit that you could attach instead of the rollers. But I just opted for the rollers since um, I want to uh, make it a rapid type. So over there. Then we're going to take the back part of the body and then just attach the core like so. And then um, get the front part of the body and then just connect everything together. There we go. Then we'll take our helmet or our helm. Then just clip it on like so. Take our shoulders. So they're a little bit tight to attach. So there we go. And there is the other one. Then we'll just take our arms and then attach them both in place. So after we have both attached them, take our feet, then just attach them like so. A little bit tight right there. And just aligning them. Then we take our uh, foot guards, then attach them like so. Yep, so that is the main body of the Beatamon. Next, let's proceed to the barrel. So we take these two pieces together and then just connect them like so. A little bit tight. So there we go. So after we have connected those two parts, we'll just take that grip, uh, that small bit right there and just insert it. And then the larger grip over there on top. Then just connect them all together. A little bit tight so after we have done that we're gonna take these uh, two bits the foregrip then just attach them like so a little bit tight there we go then we just um, slot it in like so so there it is working properly Then we're going to take the two tabs, then just um, put them in place. And there is our Odin barrel. Next for the trigger, we're going to take this um, bottom part, or, uh, well, the housing rather, then we're going to take the big screw, and then our um, small, uh, big gear and small gear rather. Then we're going to take um, this piece right there, make sure you insert it and make sure it's just working smoothly. It's a little bit rough, so um, I'll be getting my WD-40. So don't forget to attach that part right there. Um, that's going to be our, our lock for the magazine. And then take our trigger. Then I'm just going to test it one more time. As you can see, it's a little bit stiff. 
So I'm gonna apply a little bit of WD-40 just to make sure that they're loose. You could use other lubricants as well. Uh, they work fine, as you can see. And then we're gonna attach our spring. So it's just gonna hook into the trigger and to the body. So there, once everything is settled in and it's working properly, like so, we're gonna take our um, plate, then just close it in. So once everything is closed in and the trigger is working properly, we'll take that small bit right there and slide it into place. And also for the other side, like so, we're gonna close it in. And then we're gonna take our clip, just clip it into place so that it will be locked to the body. And then we're gonna take those um, two bits right there for the grip, then just attach them like so. So here are the parts for the Iron Odin. So let's take our trigger and our Bidamon, lock it in place, and then attach our barrel. And then just lock everything into place. And here is Iron Odin. One of the main features that Iron Odin has is its barrel. So as you can see, it has a foregrip, which gives you more control and you can swing this from left to right in whichever direction you please. And if you notice, there are also um, slots there for the barrel in which you could attach more barrel parts to it, uh, making the customization endless and allows you more control of the marbles. So here is Iron Odin attached with its accessories. So there is the trick cannon and then there is the power long barrel along with the loading magazine. Here is Iron Odin in its full loadout against two crash towers. Three, two, one, be crash. Cannon. Power shots. And this concludes our video review of the 025 Iron Odin from the Crash Beat'em Online by Takara. For all things Beatamon and Bottleman, see you in the next video.